Hey guys, it's Nicole from ConvertKit. Um, we have really exciting news, and that's Lead Pages has created a direct integration with ConvertKit, um, specifically in their drag and drop page editor. So today I'm going to walk you through exactly how to set that up. So the first thing you're going to do is create a new lead page. So you can do that by clicking this create new page button right over here. Since the direct integration is with the drag and drop builder, you want to make sure you're only searching for drag and drop templates. And then you can select one of the options below. I'm just going to use this first one. And then it's going to ask you, how would you like to build your page with the standard builder or the drag and drop? You want to select drag and drop. You'll name your page. and then be taken to the basic example page that you can totally edit however you'd like. Um, so in order to connect to ConvertKit, you want to get um, your button connected. So all the drag and drop lead pages use the two-step opt-in process or the lead boxes. So to edit the connection, you're gonna click on your button. You're gonna click the link icon right up here and then you're going to select lead box. So you'll need to create a new lead box specifically for this lead page. Now it's going to open up your lead box, which you can edit um, to say whatever you'd like your form to say. But to edit the connection, you want to click in the input section, and then you'll see this menu came up uh, on the left hand side, and you're going to want to click add an integration. So you see ConvertKit here. Um, that's because I've already connected ConvertKit with this Lead Pages account. I have uh, instructions on how to connect your ConvertKit account for the, specifically um, below this video because you only have to do it one time. So once you have it connected, you're going to see ConvertKit as an option in the menu. So you're just going to click ConvertKit. And then you're going to choose the form you want to send submissions to. So I created a specific form just scrolling through. Aha, uh -huh. lead pages demo. Perfect. And click done. Now you see um, lead notifications is currently on right now. So if I leave that on in addition to the ConvertKit connection, that's going to send an email to my account email every time somebody opts in. So if you'd like to get these notifications, uh, leave this lead, lead notifications on. If you don't want to get those emails, you can just click the little trash button and then delete. Next, you're going to select um, what information you'd like to collect from your subscribers. So just the email address is in by default. You can also add the first name field. Um, currently, right now, we're only going to accept the first name and the email from a lead box. So uh, those are the only two fields you can have on your form. I'm just going to leave it as email for now. Then you want to click next follow up um, because this is where you're going to set up your redirect or your thank you page. So by default, you can send um, them to just a default built in lead page. You can send them to another URL so you can create a customized thank you page, um, whether it's on your site or with lead pages as well. Or you can add a file here and even send them uh, a lead magnet or um, a PDF, ebook, etc. Um, you can also take care of that delivery within ConvertKit. It's up to you. Um, so it's really important to make sure you set up the redirect here. Um, it's not going to recognize any redirect settings you've set up on the ConvertKit side. The ConvertKit form is basically just there to collect the information and move it into ConvertKit. So it's really important to set up your thank you page here. So I'm just going to leave the default. And then you want to save because if you don't, then you're going to have to redo this connection again. So always save um, once you exit the form builder. All right, so now this form is totally connected to ConvertKit, so we can edit it however we'd like it to look. Um, and to close out the lead box, you can do it by clicking this little X right up here. So now I'm back to editing my actual lead page. When you're all set, um, you just click Publish. And then you get your direct link and you can start sharing this and all your new opt-in subscribers will be sent to ConvertKit. It's that simple. 
All right, um, thanks for watching. And as always, if you have any further questions, please reach out to us at support at convertkit.com.